the interpretation of all the songs uh, of protests that I've heard while growing up in South Africa, or material that I've written that is new that speaks back to that content. Long is a day of a prisoner. Thomas Van the Garden lived a life, a life of toil. To a master, he yearned, he yearned to be free. I know that music has always been with me, and in fact, it was something I felt compelled to do. It wasn't a choice, it was something I had to do, or else I would suffer the consequences. A very strong element in Brazilian music that influences everybody, I think, is Brazil is one of those musical traditions that is able to at once be itself, to be local, to be looking globally. So to be absorbing classical influences, to be absorbing uh, influences of hip hop and street music and graffiti, and to be pulling it together into a samba or bossa nova. Um, working with orchestras is not so far from working with traditional singers from uh, the villages if you go through the Amazon, for example. So these are the, you know, the romantic ideas I have about Brazil. I'm investigating whether actually this is true today. Part of what I'm contemplating now is a very strong element of protest going forward has to be this idea of joy, this idea of celebrating a difference that you see outside of you, as opposed to rejecting it or closing yourself off. It's got to be about reaching to it, with joy and celebrating. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, otherwise, it's hitting a brick wall all the time. vida, eu estou envolvida dentro de uma comunidade de terreiro, que já é algo que um espaço de resistência, e ao mesmo tempo na minha casa, o meu pai escutava música lírica. um protesto exatamente eu acho que eu tenho uma certa coragem de viver de, de algo que eu que eu sinto em mim assim sabe não tem como colocar o artista reflexo do povo ou o artista aquele que quer transformar o povo fazendo alguma coisa para qual o povo não escuta <música> As identidades coloniales, postcoloniales, marginadas, as invenções de las tradições também têm uma vehiculização através da música. Então, me parecia importante participar en este evento justamente para começar a armar esse diálogo que é muito difícil de lograr, não só através do Atlântico, de África, América, sino mesmo dentro de América. A mim me interessava vir também para falar com vocês porque muitas vezes o diálogo não se dá dentro do próprio continente. E, sin embargo, temos um montão de experiências de protesta musical que são comuns e de muito diálogo, por exemplo, na década de los 60. For an African to sing the German anthem in their language means the African is living in Germany. And they actually translated this from Germany, from German to their language. So the living in Germany is really an open world in, in the sense of I, I want people to view it whatever they whatever the way they want to view it. You know, I don't want to like put a stamp on it that this is what it is. But it's I think the first question is why will uh, an African living in Germany sing the German anthem? So I throw it out to people to start answering it from there. I'm not going to be the one 
<laughs> to do that. I just created a sound piece, a sound installation, which was interpreted for Venice by the curators, however they wanted to interpret it.